into a one uh, uh, one zero lead and hold that, that will be a possibility for them to to keep uh, the Turkish in check. But um, the pressure that uh, I guess we will see a lot of pressure on the Danish basket from the Turkish team. So we well have uh, 126 we people have watching. See which team can deal more with, with, the, with the stress of, of having the pressure of having to win. Or yeah. and, and this Super mental exciting. strength, this mental strength we have been talking about that uh, we, he we have to maybe focus Here we go. More. And it's on. And uh, Ege was a fast on the first on the ball and is still in ball possession and uh, trying to go forward with a long throw of the ball in the middle of the pool intercepted by the Danish player. Uh, number 14 is Mikkel Rasmussen, the team captain, and he's going for the kill on the to the basket, throwing the ball down. This is a, uh, yeah, like we said, it's going to be a physical game. We have a lot of uh, body contact already, and uh, now Denmark is trying to establish their attack pattern around the Turkish basket and find the holes, find the, the weak spots in the defense of the Turkish game and I think they will have difficulties here in uh, scoring but let's see Denmark uh, is in ball control and is in the half uh, around in the close corner of the Turkish basket. Yeah, remember that uh, Flipper had lost three important players from the last season to this one, one of them being Christian Schaefer that changed to Molde and two other uh, players. So apparently um, they are a bit in, uh, restruct, uh, getting a new structure and, and, and getting, you know, adapt to, to, to that. I mean, f losing three important players can completely destroy a team. I mean, it, it happened to us. I mean, really changed the whole dynamic of the, of the team. So let's see uh, how, how it affects them or not in this Champions Cup. So uh, um, Denmark does, uh, Flipper does a really good job here in keeping uh, the Turkish players at bay. They have a, a safe distance around the Turkish basket, so they are uh, not as this much disturbed by the uh, Turkish forward checking, can take their time and slowly uh, build pressure on the Turkish basket without being uh, uh, challenged, really challenged, um, losing the ball, so they were in ball control, waiting. There was a call from the referee. Uh, we have no sound from the uh, pool area again. Um, Lorena, can you want me to I go? I go, okay. I go. Yes, uh, you like to, to, to talk about this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm excited about this game. Well, yes, I, really I uh, haven't we haven't heard from Levent. Levent, are you there? Are you nervous? I guess so, he's watching. Um, okay, here we go. We see the first attack from Turkey on the flipper basket. Turkey is coming in slowly, they're really probing and looking, they uh, take their time, now they go in, there's one player on the close side and one player from above, here we have a sound from the pool area again, thank you, call from the referee, uh, ah, it's a counter attack from a flipper, and there's a flipper playing uh, defender from uh, under the Turkish basket, but the ball didn't go through and Flipper takes its time to execute this free throw. Um, could be a strategically played thing. With Flipper you never know. They have a lot of uh, little tricks in the basket. So Flipper uh, goes forward and is now in the middle quite under pressure. Um, but uh, playing it cool going in the corner, playing around the Turkish basket. And we see uh, more ball control and more time uh, by Flipper controlling the ball around the Turkish basket yet. And we have, we're uh, three and a half minutes into this game. Flipper from Denmark in white against uh, Turkey, Ege from Turkey in blue. It's both teams are just testing right now. We haven't seen a real heavy attack yet. Uh, and I think this will start soon. As soon as they, uh, they s seem to have an advantage or they feel they can go in, we will see heavy attack. But right now, Denmark is just testing, holding on, playing the ball, and let uh, Egge swim uh, after the ball, but not really going for an attack. This, yeah, there's a going, a flipper player going uh, to position himself on the open side. 
but he goes away again. Flipper playing it cool, still playing it cool. And the close side, not really in the corner, but at the close side, close to the corner. Call from the referee. Free throw, holding without ball. Free throw against Flipper. So uh, another chance for uh, Ege to establish their own establish their own attack pattern. And the free throw, we don't see it right now. What happened? Okay, Egg is in ball possession. Uh, going in, losing the ball with a, with a pass uh, to the flipper player. And uh, the Egg players try to recover the ball with a heavy for checking, but they don't succeed. And uh, again, Denmark uh, succeeds in uh, swimming into the half of Ege uh, to the close side, close to the corner, and uh, doing their uh, passing the ball, passing the ball up and down, uh, back and forth with uh, Ege swimming after the ball carriers. So here we go uh, flipper player swimming in the middle of the pool. And they, they are going more in the middle of the pool now, which is more dangerous because you can be attacked from uh, more sides than staying on the close side. So I, here's a, I mean, I missed uh, the few minutes that I've been away. Who has been more well, dominant? Well, this is the typical situation. This is uh, uh, one of the uh, oh. attack situations, but uh, it was interrupted by Ege, and the Turkish players are going now for the basket of Flipper. So this has been oh, back yeah, and that forth? Yeah, that forth? is a typical uh, situation we see now. And let's see if uh, Ege succeeds in uh, uh, putting pressure on the basket. We have 153 spectators right now. Ex uh, wa because spectators, uh, yeah. Online visitor statistics. 153 Levant. Good morning. And uh, here we go. This is a good chance. The, the Ege players seem to be digging in uh, their offense into the uh, area around the Danish basket. But they are going out now and play the uh, 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 like the Danish team. And now we have one Turkish player. It looked like he wants to go in for the kill from the open side, number four. But uh, Flipper does a good job in defending, and we have the the, the mirror situation we had um, with Flipper. Even though Ege seems to be more interested in going into the basket of Flipper, we have one player on the uh, open side, and uh, he's receiving the ball, but he's under heavy attack already from Flipper's side. And Flipper recovered the ball in this uh, defense situation, and is now in the offense. Uh, tough forward checking in the middle of the pool. Two players, uh, one flipper, one egg player fighting for the ball. And uh, Denmark in ball position and back. I guess that both teams are quite nervous and they're trying to to tack and to, to be offensive but not to risk uh, completely. Um and this is a counter attack from Egge. And to Levent, uh, we had yesterday about 300 visitors. Uh, yeah, 350 something yeah. like this. Yeah, I, I think there were the top games playing with Orcas, with Molle. So free throw against Ege. It's a, a the situation looks like a draw to me. Both teams are just probing and looking for the weaknesses. Yeah, exactly, they're they're playing, but they're they're, they're not taking higher risks. Risk exactly. They don't want to make a mistake. Yeah. They want to have a chance, and both teams are good enough not to open up uh, yeah, a weakness finalen. for the other one. So um, Flipper is uh, attacking in the middle of the pool, uh, on the bottom of the pool, and Ege is. Uh, physically heavily forechecking and succeeds in getting to the ball and is now in a, uh, trying to break through into the half of uh, the Danish team. But the forechecking from uh, uh, the Danish players is really heavy and they are stopped and the ball was taken away from the Ege players. And Flipper goes into attack in the half of Ege and Ege re recovers the ball and is now one player number 13 trying to break 
through into the defense oh, and the basket is empty. That would have been a chance if uh, the ball would have been free to play. Yeah, but they're defending very good yep. as well. Flipper, I mean, really. That's the experience coming job. in. The goalkeeper is having trouble. It was Collins. So it's uh, 14 seconds left and uh, I don't think uh, a lot will happen uh, in these last seconds counting down. No. Both teams are just uh, um, testing each other mm. and now the, the, ref the, the coaches will tell their teams uh, what they have to do to score in the second half and yeah, I, I, think I think we will see a more uh, this uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive play in uh, the next, in the second half of this uh, of this game, it will be more physical. It will be uh, more aggressive because they need to score. We we cannot finish a game with a draw, so they have to they have to make goals. Question from uh, Levent. What can we do normally for the final games, Levent, in the past, we normally have seven, 750 people. That's, if I remember correct, that's normally the most we, we had. So it normally increases the more uh, deep we're into the Champions Cup and the closer we are to the final. But um, that would be great. I mean, if all of the players and the family of the players I uh, think they already do. The, uh. the, the no, but more intense. So we have a question from Levent, how can we raise uh, the number of visitors in the live stream? And uh, for sure, uh, one of the tactics for us is uh, every player should share um, the, the, uh, the link to the live stream to uh, the families, everybody's watching. And I think, um, and that's for sure, uh, a lot of these 169 uh, visit uh, spectators we have right now are not looking alone, they are looking with friends, they're watching with friends. Uh, so we have a lot more people watching, but the, the number we can tell you is uh, 169 right now. Um, and yes, it's right, Levent, we have about 6,000 players worldwide, but they are living in different time zones, Levent, and uh, it's three o'clock in the morning with uh, Colombia, and we will have a lot of uh, people watching there but if uh, the Orca is not playing, they will not get up to watch the games. So it's, uh, it depends on uh, the time zones and the teams playing uh, in this game. But you're right, we have to share this link more. And thank you very much for this, uh, for you raising up the numbers, Levent. Uh, it tells a lot about uh, the development of underwater rugby to see these numbers and we have to keep them flexible and uh, renew them as soon we have new numbers from the countries and their development. So let's go back in the second half, 18 seconds left. And um, this will be a faster game now in the second half. It was a testing in the first half. Both teams don't want to make a mistake. And I'm curious, I'm really curious, couldn't tell uh, right now what is going, uh, who is going to win. If I could, I would play in the lottery and I would be rich. Teams ready. Teams ready. Exciting game. Let's see. Here we go, second half, 10 minutes to play. And Ege is going in fast. Ball control by Ege, stopped uh, by Flipper, but still Ege is fighting. But uh, one player attacked by uh, two players and a call from the referees. I think it's a uh, grip to the head. Yeah, it was a throat, grip to the throat, and a free throw for Ege. That's Warning a good chance. 14 wide struggling. 14 wide is uh, Mikael Rasmussen, team captain. Uh, it was a warning for him from the referees. And Ege is in ball possession and trying to go forward to the flipper goal but the pass was inter but the pass right in front of the goal was intercepted by flipper by flipper player and uh, flipper is in ball possession on their own close side corner and now they're trying to break through the four checking defense of Ege and Ege does a good job to holding off that uh, flipper is working their way meter by meter in direction of the Ege basket and in this game I think the the next 
the, the first goal we see will be the decision for the game because both teams uh, seem able to defend against the attacks and the first goal we will see will be the decisive goal in this game and Flipper is now again uh, doing their uh, reoccurring pattern uh, being in the corner on the close side of the AK basket and trying to establish their attack from there there's one player from Flipper waiting on the open side but it took too long for uh, the AK ball carrier to be there so back to the wall to the close side now an attack from the close side and uh, they try to the Flipper tries to go into the uh, the referee, uh, no, not the <laughs> referee, the goalkeeper exchange didn't succeed. And another attack, and this is, uh, they try to attack above the goalkeeper call from the referee. A really exciting what will happen. Free throw against Flipper, second free throw, free throw in the second free half. Play number four, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, yes, blue player number four. Wow, Ege is playing with uh, only five players in the water. Number four has a penalty, time penalty of two minutes. So this could be a chance for Flipper now uh, with a weakened uh, Ege team with uh, one player less in the water. Let's see what Ege, how Ege is uh, reacting to the situation. You have to adapt quickly in this moment and you have to prepare to know what you do. You cannot uh, lose coherence of your team call from the referees again holding uh, without ball and free throw against flipper that's very good in favor uh, for a weakened uh, play a weakened uh, team for a team because they won't play one player less and uh, that's hard against an experienced team like flipper who knows to use a chance uh, that is given to them so egg is taking the time to execute the free throw and Ege is in ball control and it's time is working on their favor as long as they are uh, with one player, yes. And they go in for an attack and the Ege player is waiting on the close side but the pass was intercepted by the defender from Flipper. And Flipper is in ball possession trying to break through, stopped in the middle of the pool by Ege player. For checking is heavy and again uh, meter by meter Flipper is working their way to the Turkish basket. Yes, it's a really power play we see here because Flipper needs this chance now. It's their opening to, to score, but uh, Ege is uh, lying too heavy in the defense to be overrun by the play of Flipper. Uh, it doesn't look for me. Now it's a chance we have an from, uh, attack from the open side into the basket. It's uh, Mikael Rasmussen here on the open side going into the basket but throwing the ball uh, in the middle of the pool to the player uh, who's waiting there call from the referee free throw against flipper flipper is playing uh, more aggressive now they need this goal in uh, the time they have they are more player in the water i think the two minutes should be over soon and egg is playing Um, and uh, Ege is attacking and trying to yes. establish their own attacking pattern no, around no. the Danish basket. We had a time penalty, Lorena, yes, for the Ege player number four, but uh, Ege, what happened? What did he, what did he I didn't see it. I didn't see what and, uh, happened, didn't yeah, hear perfect. it, but uh, Ege seemed to be understood by... Uh, playing with one player less. We have a heavy attack on uh, the Danish basket, but the Danish defender, the goalkeeper, succeeded in uh, recovering the ball and it was a uh, holding without ball by Ege. So they have a, Flipper has a free throw oh, against I think they're Ege. full again. I mean, there's yes, no... Yes, he's back again. Absolutely. Well, I guess Levent, I mean, in a way, you are right um, with the running time, but I believe that the two minutes penalty is there to probably to, to make a point that the, the players try to play a fair game so that they will be two minutes out. And so maybe you, be, you are a bit more careful uh, before doing a fall. I don't, I don't know, maybe. 
I understand that two minutes out of a ten minutes uh, half time is, is a lot. So um, it didn't hurt uh, Ege to play with one player less. And the time is counting down three minutes, 40 left. And now Flipper is uh, going in more aggressively into the basket of Ege. And we are now above the basket. Some and here's one player going in really hard. We see it now. It's getting more physical on the Turkish basket. And there's one thing that was lost by one player. We can see if it's uh, Turkish. Or and pushing from or uh, the open side from the ball keeper, the flipper ball keeper uh, uh, carrier. And Eke uh, succeeded in uh, recovering the ball and going for a counter attack and swimming the swimming uh, the the ball carrier from Ege swam very fast was stopped in the middle of the pool and uh, here we go Ege well remember that if uh, they don't decide this match now in the game it's going to be by penalties and they have uh, two and a half minutes until that happens so it has been a very tight game um, so call from the, the referees. Flipper, like, put a notch uh, from the last game we yes. saw yesterday. It's like it looked like yesterday they, they were trying up. to, the, yeah, they they play a bit more relaxed. Maybe they didn't have to play uh, tough because they were playing against Barcelona. So they now they are showing a little bit more what they can. You know, this is what I I meant about uh, regulating the energy uh, according to the opponent you have. And and now um, they put all what they have against Ege, they need to put everything they have because Ege won't uh, I mean, punish any mistake or any... So, less than two minutes left and we need a winner in this game and the next goal definitely will decide this game and uh, otherwise we go into the penalty shooting and my guess is both teams don't want that, they want to have a decision before and here goes Ege um, into the basket of uh, Flipper and there's one Eggy player waiting on the open side while his uh, partner is uh, fighting on the close side but fended off by Flipper. Time is counting, one minute 30 left. Could be a draw, could be interesting what we see with the penalties. Um, I think uh, with a very experienced Flipper have, they probably have an edge uh, in the penalty shooting. Holding without ball, free throw against Flipper, one minute 10 left. Time is trickling down. One minute, one minute. One minute left. Less than one minute and it looks to me we will have a draw. Our first draw in this uh, Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. Uh, time is counting down. Now Ege has to throw everything into the uh, it attack but uh, without risking to catching a counter attack and the goal so it's 30 seconds left this will be probably be the last attack we see in this uh, 10 minutes here we go that's a chance for Ege no flipper recovered the ball and, and now 20 going to seconds hold to it, probably with everything they can they're in the corner the Ege player is trying to recover uh, but uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't think that Danish player is going to... Okay, we will have a penalty shooting. Yep. I'm quite sure. This is going to be interesting. All Here right. we go, time over. Time's over and now we have penalty shooting. Who are the referees? Let me tell you. We're at the game number... 29, 21, isn't it? 20. 20 one. 21. 21, you're right. Yeah. So in the water is Jochen Beckmann, he's the highest referee in Germany, and Bob Robinson, he's an AA referee here from Berlin, and uh, deck referee is uh, Peter Tenefoss. So all of them are very experienced referees, and uh, they are well prepared to control this penalty shooting. So let me tell you about the regulations. We see the penalty shooting, and it's one on one. The first team that scores and the other team that does not score. So the scorer, the first one who wins uh, in this penalty shooting does win the game. It's one on one each time and the one team that uh, scores and the other. Uh, okay, we have a uh, discussion. No, 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 no. 
Every game has to have a winner. Therefore, the penalty shootout. Blue team starts one by one. If if you have a failure under the um, the shootout, you can change player, and then we don't count him as taking the penalty, and he can take the next one or whatever he wants. Okay. So this is interesting. Okay, start right on. Blue start it looks like right the Turkish the player didn't know yeah, uh, what happens if you have a draw. It's in the invitation written, and uh, it's better you be prepared for this because you always could stumble into a draw. And if you don't know and you're confronted with a situation, you have to choose your attacker, you have to choose your goalkeeper, and better be prepared in the situation so you can already yeah, focus. But normally you already know normally these kind of things you discuss with the team that mm. in case of a penalty or so you know who's going to hold and you are going to who's going to attack so i don't think this is a very surprising maybe it's a surprise that they have to go uh, for penalty but uh, i they know exactly um, who, who to put um, to we have uh, bayram uh, in the um in the live stream, hello Bayram, long time haven't seen you uh, playing, you played uh, for us, uh, for the Sport Hall team here in Berlin, and uh, thank you for watching and uh, contacting us, would we'll be happy to see you soon. Okay, penalty shooting, very exciting moment uh, in every game, and uh, very uh, nice to see as a, a spectator, not very nice for the teams to play, because everything depends on two players. Uh, we saw a very nice uh, penalty shooting yesterday, holding from uh, Anne Sophie uh, from the Black Sweden, Mermaids yeah. against uh, Copenhagen from that Denmark. Was, that was a great and that was a great one. I think we will cut this out from the video and put it on a on the loop. <laughs> uh, very well done by Anne Sophie yesterday. So penalty shooting um, here, and I think hold on uh, the. Blue team starts by attacking, yes, I think. Yes, 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 the blue team starts. So, Ege, Ege, so Ege, starts. Ege starts, and they have to uh, score. Here we go. Ege goes in against uh, uh, the Ege player with number 13, goes in against the team captain. Wow! Of uh, Flipper, and he scores very sovereign into the basket over the head of Mikael Rasmussen, the team captain of the Danish team. So 1-0 for Ege, okay, congratulations so to Ege for that penalty, it was a great, uh, very well executed. Flipper game. has to score now, otherwise they lose the game, yes. that's the rule. Flipper has to score now, otherwise Ege is winning. That's a lot of pressure on the it's attacker. Pressure for me. I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> nervous too. I'm, I'm, I think my heart rate is going up, and I don't have oh air. I feel out of, of air right now. So, who is uh, doing the attack? I don't see the number. Um, oh no, 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 no! Go, go, please, go away! Don't see it. Ah. We have to tell. Here, you. please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Number four is attacking. And it's a heavy fighting around the basket, and uh, the time is 23 oh, the, the seconds, and they go, go up. He has to go down again. I oh mean. yeah, the ball is dropping down, and the Danish player is going forward, and it's very wow oh. scored. Oh god, that was really. So could please someone in the pool area tell uh, the people watching in the water not go in front of the camera because we don't see anything and with us more than 200 watchers all over the world uh, don't have a view. So back again to zero. Uh, we start again one with one. I mean, and now next uh, goal, I mean next penalty is going to be for Ege. So uh, Ege is oh. attacking. Flipper is defending, Turkey they is attacking. They have always to have a different attacker and the goalie can repeat. This is Here the we go. Okay, he's holding himself. It's number 21 uh, attacking. He was yeah. holding himself. That was a call. Uh, we see. don't have a sound from the pool area. Man kann so vielleicht gehen und wieder sagen, dass man nicht hört. Man hört den Ton nicht von 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 der. So we so we try to tell our people uh, to put the sound back again from the pool area so we hear the referees. Uh, but I think it was a holding on the basket I mean as far as I, I saw see. The, I, was the I saw the hand. So it's the a repeat. Uh, it's the same player, 21, I think. I don't see his number on his uh, front. And we have a different goalie. Yeah, he it's probably had the two minutes penalty. Mikkel Rathmussen again. And uh, the Aggie player takes its time. He's going on the 
top above uh, uh, Rasmussen and now he's trying to go through and uh, Rasmussen tackled him but he has to let go now he's not in ball control and Eggy player is in ball control and throwing down ah! the ball and was A in the basket is inside okay oh wow very exciting penalty shooting we have here and uh, well done by both teams uh, so far by both uh, attackers and defenders yes. and we go uh, to the Turkish basket and again Ege succeeded and uh, now Flipper has to do the score not to lose so 44 45 seconds in the penalty shooting and there's again a player uh, in the in the water in front of the camera. There's also another kind of, uh, we didn't see it, it's, it's also a kind of... Uh, there was a uh, discussion, there's a discussion now uh, they stopped the pen on the surface see. and the referee is talking to the attacker and defender. Looked like some clarification. No, th they were already started with the penalty and... Yeah. and I don't know, there was a kind of a fall or something, so I don't know what they, they call it. But it looks like a repetition, they repeat the... They repeat the attack. So we don't know what's happening because we don't have sound from the pool area. Ah. Here we go. Someone is uh, working on the sound. Here we go. We have back sound from the pool area. It's better in this situation to hear the referee talking. So we don't know what's happening right now, why they did stop the, uh, the, the Danish attacker is waiting. Referee is going down again. I think we will uh, okay, see. Okay, team Freddy. Okay, here we go. And the penalty, and uh, it has to be in the basket. Then you take Number yes, ten perfect. is yeah. Hakan is holding for Ege. Yes, he's the team yes, captain no of the Turkish team. Okay. Uh, he's the team captain of the Turkish team, and uh, Mikael Rasmussen is attacking. He's the team captain of the Swedish team. So both team captains are uh, fighting now in this penalty. Harkan is de uh, defending and uh, Rasmussen is attacking and he threw the ball next to the basket. He's going up and uh, Harkan is going up with him again. He Eight seconds. He's not allowed to attack he's him. He's not allowed to attack it on the service. And, and go. go. That was go then the last three seconds. three seconds. That was in the last three seconds we and please could go someone to the pool and tell the people not to stand in front of yes, the camera we don't see anything and i will take a new penalty if he was uh, missing yeah because the we remember that the rules of the penalty is that the goalkeeper is not allowed to attack the attacker if he's not um in a in a close distance to the goal you need to be able to reach the goal uh, with any part of your body at all times if you are not in ball control. If you're in ball control, you can leave that area. But otherwise, you cannot go to the attacker that's in the surface and attack it there. That's a, that would have been a fall. So that's why the referee was saying that at okay. the end, it was the, uh, they convert the penalty, but otherwise he would okay. have called it. Here we go again. No, please, number 10, young kid, go away. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Um, attack is by number three from Ege and defending. I cannot see the number. Number 39, 39 uh, is defending. And it uh, looks like the, the Danish player has is 39. in ball control. He's trying to go up to the Jan surface and he made it. Jan Christoffersen. Flipper just hold that penalty. No goal. No goal. So. Have to score. Yeah, they have to score, but that's just no goal. Ege has no to problem. hold the, uh, the attack from Denmark now, otherwise they lose this game. So if... Uh, okay. 
Teams ready? If Flipper succeeds now, they do win. No, These no, are the we rules. Have it, he was, uh, we have a break and then he can do it again. Okay. No problem, we have it. Okay, teams ready? This is a lot of pressure now. Number, Number two, two is defending is from Ege. Denizan. And the flipper player is quite close to the basket. And the Turkish player is fighting with him for the ball. And it is... Wow. Very well and done. And, uh, flipper just won okay. the game. Team swim. That was Point. close. And uh, that was hard was for, for uh, Ege. 3-2, I would say. No? So, Flipper did win this game 0 No, no three, not 3 that well. 2, I think. Yeah, 3 2, okay. But, three uh, 2 in penalties. It's, it's so, have been a great match. Uh, I really feel for the Turkish players because when you have such a, a tight game.